morning and welcome back to the Stour and Orwell walk. It is day four. You find us in a slightly strange environment. <laughs> As I mentioned on the last video, we had to stop where we were on the route. Uh, we were just outside Lower Holbrook. We pretty much finished stage four, the longest and toughest section of the whole route and we got a cab into sort of South Ipswich to the Premier Inn here at, at Wearstead where we've actually stayed before. Um, Dawn's hips and back were hurting too much from um, carrying her rucksack which it was fitted when we bought it, it was fitted in the shop by one of the, the assistants but it's still too big for her like the shoulder straps are sitting like right off of her shoulders so her hips are carrying all the weight and after three days of carrying you know um supplies for a, mul for a multiple day trip it was just causing her too much agony and she was in pain she wasn't sleeping at night because of it it's valentine's day today and it'd just be it'd be horrible for her to not be able to enjoy it and have not got any sleep and she was literally walking in agony and we had to stop quite a few times so we just we weren't going to get to start on this so we made a decision anyway to stop here overnight uh, as a result we managed to recharge a lot of things a lot of batteries and whatnot plan today is finish the walk off um, you know I think Dawn can bear another seven miles with the rucksack she's had a good night's sleep in a comfy bed um you know a hot bath and some and some decent food so we're feeling a lot better actually gonna take painkillers <laughs> so we're gonna head down for breakfast now i can't wait do love a premier in breakfast and then we're gonna sign out get a cab uh to lower holbrook where we finished and continue on Okay, so we've just got a cab from the Premier Inn at Wearstead and we're now here at a little car park at Lower Holbrook. So we're just heading out to Alton Wharf, I believe it's called, where we can pick up the Stour and Orwell Walk for the final stage, stage five, Lower Holbrook to Cataway, seven miles. Join us for the final section of Stour and Orwell. Enough talking, let's get walking. Stage five, Lower Holbrook to Catterwade, seven miles. This final stage of the Stour and Orwell walk takes in some charmingly varied countryside with sections through farmland quiet village lanes and along the Stour estuary itself. The first part of the walk is dominated by the presence of the vertiginous spire of the Royal Hospital School's lofty clock tower. The end of the route is at Catterwade, close to the transport hub of Manningtree, where enthusiastic walkers might feel tempted to continue west along beautiful Dedham Vale through Constable Country to follow the Stour Valley path along the Suffolk Essex border. The Royal Hospital School at Holbrook is the largest boarding school in East Anglia and its 60 metre or 200 foot high clock tower is a beacon for miles around the southern Shotley Peninsula. Founded by Royal Charter in 1712, the school moved from Greenwich to its present site in 1933. The school, built in Neo-Georgian style and set in 200 acres, has a long-standing naval tradition that has its pupils wearing Royal Navy uniforms for ceremonial and formal events. So at this point of the Stour and Orwell route, it actually passes through someone's garden. Um, it is a permissive footpath, you can walk through here. And it's right next to 
the Royal Hospital School building with the huge clock tower. Now here's a little quiz for all of you. There was a famous TV celebrity that lived in this house here whose garden we passed through. I don't know if they still live here, I don't think they do. Get in the comments if you know. Whoever comments with the name of the, the person first is the winner. St Peter's Church in Stutton has an interior that, although mostly Victorian in character, boasts an excellent and unusual millennium window at its west end, the work of Thomas Denny. The village once clustered around this church, but it was purposely burnt down in an attempt to stop the spread of plague. Today, most of the village lies 1.6 kilometres or one mile to the west. Loud noises allowed. Pargeting, sometimes pargeting, is a type of decorative wall plastering that is quite commonly seen in 16th and 17th century buildings in parts of Suffolk.
Mistley, across the River Stour in Essex, was once important for its sailing barges that plied between the estuary and London. The arrival of so much grain from the Suffolk hinterland made this an important centre for barley malting for beer production. In the early 19th century, the River Stour was navigable as far upstream as Sudbury. Horse-drawn barges would bring bricks and grain to the estuary, where their goods would be offloaded onto London barges at Mistley Quay. Horses were unharnessed at Brantham Lock, just above Catterwade Bridge, and barges punted under the bridge over the River Stour at Catterwade before continuing to Mistley. This, I believe, is Catterwade picnic area right on the Suffolk Essex border. And this is the end, the finish point of the Stour and Orwell walk. Hey! You've done it. Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at the sky. Mm. Well done. Brilliant. Wicked. Hey! Come on! <laughs> oh, Star and all well complete. Brilliant. Okay. Mm -hmm. well done. Oh, you know. That is the end of the Star and Orwell walk. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series of videos. Myself and the lovely Dawn completing a fantastic route. I think it was 43 miles in total and it's taken us four days to do that it's been a fantastic four days uh, we've we've traversed both banks of the river Orwell and the north bank of the river Stour the Suffolk side just behind us is Manning Tree and the Essex border which is the way we're going to be heading <laughs> back over to our side of the river <laughs> to catch a train home uh, so it's really good to do this again and document it uh, it also means that we've completed the entire Suffolk coastline now right up to the, the Essex border uh, like I say I'd completed it before but not documented it so it's great to finally document it and be able to share it with you as well so yeah, as I say, many highlights, Dawn, highlights. Oh, too many. The camp by the Orwell Bridge was awesome. Yeah, that was really and good. And walking across it, oh wow. I can't believe we did that. Yeah, I'd agree with them too, yeah. Yeah, Pin Mill. Pin Mill was great. The fish and chips at that Button Oyster pub were amazing. Oh, jeez. The views there were incredible. It's the sort of place we want to go back to, yep. definitely. Oh, Jill's Hole. Jill's Hole? <laughs> is the place we camped on the second, second night, night. Uh, and the walk from, from camp on the third day past, um, yeah, past the Felixstowe docks on the other side mm. round to Shotley Gate was one of the best bits of the whole awesome. route. Awesome, seeing the ship leave the Felixstowe docks. Seeing the ships leave Brilliant. the docks and the port was really good. Lower Holbrook basically to the end here has been brilliant. Yeah, Another fantastic today. section, yeah. Loved it, I'm so glad we got to finish it. So yeah, it's been a fantastic little route. Um, thank you for joining us. And, uh, Can't wait for the next one. Yeah. So until next time, take care of yourselves, look after each other, stay safe everyone. Please be nice to one another and get out there and explore. Explore your local county and fall in love with it. Cheers, see you later. Bye. Bye.
Yeah! Train wankers!